Hi, I'm Bruno, demonstration chef for sous vide tools. Today, we're gonna to be demonstrating on how to reuse your router, okay? So we've got a few products here that then particularly are for the router. Um, we've got then our beaker, okay? Then also our jet packs from there. We've then also got your fasten on beaker and also your blade for the top, okay? From there, these will never see the blast chiller. These two here will see your blast chiller. You'll put your products, your ice creams, your sorbets, even then your parfaits and also your mousses within these and also to the maximum level of your beaker from there into then your blast chiller. Then from there, from the blast chiller, you will then start to then obviously bring your packs out and then use from there. Great jet pack, literally from there, frozen. Great for then actually as well for storage from there, straight out into your beakers from there, okay? Once you've then got your beaker full and then you've got your product in, from there, all we wanna do, put your beaker in, pop your blade on. Now with your blade, you have got, pop it on, and then it will then just, clip in, like that. From there as well, put the jar on. Okay, from there we've got a cleaning function. Uh, there again, it will ask you for how many portions. I would always say, whenever you're doing your portions, when you're first spinning, literally I would spin it all your ice cream first, so that's going up to number 10. And then from there, once you've then refrozen, you can then spin in portion sizes or then double portions from that point of view, okay? So from there, these are then up or down, up to 10 or down for then your portions from there. Got your cancel button, if then you wanna cancel it. And then also as well, you've got your doubles processing. So that will then go down once, then rise, but then also as well go down a second time within sort of your chicken mousses and things like that, which then particularly will need a double portion from that point of view, okay? Then from there, you will have a button just to release. That will then release a little bit of the air and then free to then open up and go from there. Always, then always as well, whenever using any sort of chicken or mousses or anything like that, I would always say, give it a really good clean and sanitize afterwards. 